see that. Even until now, I haven't seen that. For three years, Kashu Lan, as a mom, has dealt with the impossible, not knowing when or if she would see her child again. It's my only son. Nearly two decades ago, Lan moved to Washington with her son, Siyue. She tells me he always focused on education. Graduating from the University of Washington, then Harvard, then going to Princeton, Lan tells me she didn't even know her son had gone to Iran for his studies until he had been arrested. I was crying and screaming. For months, due to international politics, she couldn't openly talk about her son's capture, living with this pain, essentially, alone. I feel lonely. I feel helpless. I, ha I feel I am in prison. She tells me it got so bad, she didn't know if she would be able to keep fighting. I can't. That's my own son. My own son. How come people... treated like that. He's a great man. But she found support. Support through community and through global rights advocacy, a local nonprofit fighting for international human rights. For two years, they fought to bring CUA home. And Saturday morning, Lon's nightmare ended. Yes, what? he called me. She tells me the love she's received at times, has been the only thing to help her keep going. Lon says she can never say thank you enough to everyone who helped bring her son home. This country is great because we have great people. And Lon has not spoken to the media much during her son's imprisonment. She tells me honestly she doesn't like doing it and really didn't even want to do it today, but she says she's willing to share.